All right, quick intro here. Never watched Severance. I don't know jack about it. I've heard great things. It's been towards the top of my list of TV shows I want to watch. It's only one season. It's got Adam Scott. It's going to be my first Apple TV Plus like experience. So I am excited all around to see what this show has in store. So I'm going to waste no more time and get right into Severance. I've got beef with this Apple TV Plus player. Who so are far. you? Jesus Christ. Hi there. Who is that? It's Adam Scott. Now, now, shall we begin with question one? Was she kidnapped or something? Five questions. What do I get at the end? Depends on your answers. What does that mean? Who are you? What? Come on. Easy question. I don't... Oh, come on. It was a softball and you don't know the answer? In which U.S. state or territory were you born? I don't know. Unknown. Question three. Please name any U.S. state. I don't know. Delaware. What is this? Delaware. There we Question. Go. What is Mr. Egan's favorite breakfast? I don't Ooh. know. So that's unknown, unknown, Delaware, unknown, unknown. <laughs> hey, man. That's a perfect score. What? She's the chosen one. What does that mean? How is that perfect? I'm confused already, most definitely. Like, why was he conducting that interview through an intercom when he was outside the door? He opens it at the end of the interview. Like, why not just do that face to face? Why are y'all using the intercom? Why does she not know who she is? It's a lot of questions. Oh, Adam, what's wrong? It's a very satisfying view. Oh my God, extremely satisfying. It's perfectly symmetrical. There's a, a little pond on both sides. Holy shit, damn, that's crazy. So you have like a different badge you wear while working versus getting in? Oh, I, I don't like the look of this elevator. It's like just a perfect body width. No space in there. Seemed like he didn't know what that was in his pocket for. Did his memory get wiped on the elevator? Look at his, like his, he looks like completely different. <laughs> what are these hallways? What is going on? How many turns are there in this hallway? Jesus. Wait, what? Why didn't you just go straight? I'm confused. God, this office looks terrible. Oh my God, w there's no life. Hi kid, what's for dinner? Oh shit, what's up man? It's Arturo, I didn't know he was in this as well. Good morning, macro data refinement. Hi Mr. Macro Major. data refinement. What is this business? This place is terrifying. Throw some paintings or something, something on the wall. You look awful, you look hungover. Have a seat. <laughs> See, a plant really goes a long way. Oh, uh, hello. PD is no longer with this company. I'm sorry, Mark. You guys are one of my favorite office friendships. Ew, weird. Mark asks that this time I confer upon you the freedom to serve Kier in the advanced role of Macrodata Refinement Department Chief. Congratulations. Mmm, moving up in the world. But what happened to PD? Thank you, may I have a handshake? What is happening? Oh, and uh, thank you to the board as well. Yeah, you're a big the help. Board. I have so many questions and I don't fucking know. Who are you? She's knocked, man. Is this the cold open? Shall we begin with question one? I'm not taking your survey. So this is like an employee interview? Did you grow me as food and that's why I have no memories? Huh? Do you think we grew a full human? Gave you consciousness? I don't know. Did your nails? I don't know. I don't know you. No. She has that little memory? Like, how does... I'm, uh... Your name is Helly. Helly. Helly R. Nice name. I can sense that the questions made you feel afraid or disoriented. The good news is, you're at an orientation. <laughs> you have been hired to a position on the severed floor of Lumen Industries. To start, imagine yourself as a seesaw. Ow! Oh my god, Helly! 
please? No. I would be just as terrified, man. A disembodied voice asked me 19 times who I was. And when I realized I couldn't answer, I told that voice that I would find him and kill him. <laughs> nice. Did you kill the voice? No. Well, that voice's name was Petey, and he became my best friend. Aww. While disappointed, I hate to keep you somewhere you're not happy. So let's get you out of here. I am so fucking confused, dude. This feels like a Black Mirror episode. You're not coming with me? Oh, I'm not allowed to see. Excuse me? What? I just can't watch you leave. Why do you say that with a smile? <laughs> Oh, it's a trap. Oh my God. What is this tomfoolery going on here? Oh, I'm so confused. What is- Well, you did leave just now. Out into the stairwell, at least. You left, but you came back. Yeah, it kept looking like she was opening the door and it would lead her back into the hallway, but it showed that she just, she went out into the stairway and then chose to come back. But from her point of view, that's not what was happening. Welcome to Lumen, Heli. This woman terrifies me, so therefore I am very attracted to her. Are you mad at me? Well, yes! <laughs> oh God. You know my mother was an atheist. Hell, it's just the product of a morbid human imagination. The bad news is, whatever humans can imagine, they can usually create. It's kind of a bar. Go ahead and have a seat. Oh god, what the hell? I have, of my own free accord, elected to undergo the procedure colloquially known as severance. I give consent for my perceptual chronologies to be surgically split, separating my memories between my work life and my personal life. Interesting. I will be unable to access outside recollections whilst on Lumen's severed basement floor, nor retain work memories upon my ascent. Oh, cool. I am aware that this alteration is comprehensive and irreversible. Irreversible? I think there's a pretty easy reverse is just not working here on the severed floor. That's such a cool idea, though. Terrifying and definitely very Black Mirror. What's the point of it, though? You'll leave at five. But it won't feel like it, not to this version of you anyway. Yeah, right. Do you have a family? You'll never know. Well, every time you find yourself here, it's because you chose to come back. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so crazy. That's so cool. It's like you have two different versions of you living, not necessarily at the same time, but like you just have two versions of yourself with a bunch of different feelings and emotions. That is so interesting. Hello. Hey. <laughs> so like once you clock out of work basically you blink and then you're already back literally for that version of yourself you blink and it's the beginning of the next work day because it's separated like that terrifying idea why would you put yourself through that i would not be able to uh willingly volunteer myself for this uh-uh <laughs> And so now that's why they switch out all of their belongings for like proper uniformed stuff. Any type of reminder of the outside world, I assume. It's wild, man. Okay, slip on an overhead projector slide and sustain the minor blow to the Well, that's not what team. happened. But I guess he's not allowed to know. That would really fuck with your head too. Like you just really would never know. What if you died at work, man? Hey, maybe keep your eyes on the icy road. Get him, Hallie, shit. Ooh. Oh, I love that shot. That's crazy. Oh my god, I love that shot. What the fuck? This is so cool. I guess one nice thing about separating the work and personal memories is like when you go to clock into work, your personal version of yourself, you just get to come back and oh, work's done already. Shit, I can go home and do whatever the hell I want to do. Never have to worry about work ever again. I go into work, boom, it's over. I'm back. Hello. Time to go game. He also said his best friend was Petey at work. And I was thinking, you know, yeah, he's fired, but just hang out with him after work. But they don't know each other outside of work. So that's another crazy thing. Work friends, not a thing. I, I'm in the corporate archives division, so. Oh, so you know all the dirty secrets. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, well, Mark's work is sensitive enough as to require the severance procedure. Well, I just always be thinking about, you know, the other one. 
Right. Well, there is no other one. No, there absolutely it's is. Me. So in effect, that version of you is trapped there. Well, I mean, not trapped, uh, yeah. but... But what? No, no, I'm curious what were you going to say, but not trapped, but... But what? What were you going to say? <laughs> this is so tense. I'm proud of you for taking that job. I really am. And I think she would have been too. I know she would have been. I just feel like forgetting about her for eight hours a day isn't the same thing as healing. Oh, is that why he took the job? It's kind of sad. You're definitely staying here tonight. No, I'm not. I'm making all the bed sheets myself, <laughs> so... I still don't quite get the three beds. Oh, Rick and colleague told us that switching out the beds as the child grows can wound that child. But if you provide said child with all of its beds upon birth, you allow it to progress across the room at its own rate. <laughs> Got it. What? That sounds interesting, actually. That does. Let the baby choose <laughs> where it sleeps. I feel like it'd always choose the massive bed. I would. There's some hereditary shit going on outside. Is that John Turturro? No, it's not. Who the hell are you, guy? Okay. What the hell was that? Was it Petey, maybe? I bet it was Petey. Obviously, he wouldn't recognize him, this version of him, but... I'm sorry. I just had to drown out the memory of mom and dad switching out my beds when we were kids. <laughs> You've been sitting on that one. They have funny, like, sibling humor. It's a very, like, low-key type of chemistry. Ooh. Hang up. What's up, Petey? Okay, who the fuck are you? Petey. I, my name is Petey. I'm from work. Hey, man. Okay, well, severance is pretty permanent. Yeah, bypassing the implant wasn't easy. I had help. Hmm. Nothing down there is what they say. Well, I figured. If something happens to me, the things I know need to stay known. Interesting. That's what's in I'd that prefer envelope. to be by a friend. I love the idea of this. Love it so much. He has no idea who this guy is outside of work, but inside of work, they were best friends. That's so crazy. And that PD had absolutely no way to truly prove to him that they knew each other inside of work because obviously he doesn't know anything about inside of work. If you don't want to know what's going on down there, I won't force it. But if you do, there's an address on the back of this card. Go alone and you'll find the beginning of a very long answer. About to go down the rabbit hole now. Is that you? Oh, hi, Mrs. Selvig. Oh, will you color me embarrassed for the mix-up? Is that his boss? Is that his boss? The terrifying lady? 100%. You know my mother was a Catholic. She used to say it takes the saints eight hours to bless a sleeping child. I hope you aren't rushing the saints. Is your mother Whoa. a Catholic or an atheist, honey? You're good people. What is it? <laughs> Does she know? Is she severed? Maybe she's keeping her eye on him from the outside. Oh, she's totally not severed. Well, shit. Directed. It said directed by Ben Stiller? It just said that was directed by Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. The man behind the cable guy. I can honestly see that now. Now that I think about it, this does remind me a lot of the cable guy. Interesting. No, this was great. This was a great first episode, man. It started out with so many questions, but then it progressed to answering some of them. What a crazy concept, this severed mind thing. Because there, there's like so much to think about with it. Like what, why does a workplace need to sever an employee's memories? I imagine the severed employees are the ones working on like the most classified most maybe incriminating information. What I picked up on is I think Lumen, they said like Lumen makes everything. What don't they make? I'm gonna work under the assumption that Lumen is like this universe's Amazon or something. It's like the biggest company in the entire world. Like I think Lumen's basically Amazon, but they just have one floor of their building where employees have no idea what the hell is going on outside of work. And that is so damn crazy to me. My interest has been peaked hard, man. I'm very excited to see where this stuff goes. Great first episode. So you work personage will be waking in a few hours on the severed floor but the next time you yourself will be sentient will be this evening in the elevator back up i love seeing the sunrise on his face who who the hell is that guy you know he used to drink three raw eggs and milk each morning you heard <laughs> his favorite breakfast oh mr egan his favorite breakfast Oh, that's why he says that before the orientation to test the memory and that's why the question is in the orientation boom just relax. Like you can't put her to sleep for this? Ew! I feel like I'm watching Saw 3. Put a nice cute little chip in her in her head.
That's crazy. That's a cool shot. Ooh, nice. I'm trying to leave. No, no, it's all part of the process. If you want to spin around and head back in, that should be that. Okay, so this is what happens on the other side. Okay. And the, oh my God, hey this there. is so fucking cool. Oh, this is so cool. The other side of the POV. Oh, that is so awesome. See you're waking up in the elevator. Oh fuck. That is so cool. I am such a fan of this concept. I'm a massive fan. Is our opening credit sequence? What the hell? Ooh. Oh, what an awesome credit sequence. Oh! Oh my god! Christopher Walken? Where? Ooh! Oh, that was fucking dope! Oh my god, that was- That credit sequence, it has to be the cleanest credit sequence I've ever seen. Holy hell. So is Keir Egan, is that Christopher Walken? It would've been nice if I didn't see his name in the credits, damn it. I've got it 96% sorted, which means I've earned four of the five tier incentives, including the erasers and the finger traps that you see displayed here. 100% is tier five, that gets you a caricature portrait. Each one of these, finished file in the can. Sounds like a terrible incentive. If we hit our numbers by quarter's end, one of us gets named refiner of the quarter, and that shit gets you a waffle party. I'm sorry, a waffle party? Yeah, she's probably like, what the hell's a waffle? I just noticed you removed the group photos from the desk. Yeah, we're gonna take the new ones at Ellie's party today. Oh. <laughs> okay. God, I love that actor. I do think the old photos are supposed to stay on the desk until the new ones come in. <laughs> Each category of numbers presents in such an order as to elicit an emotional response in the refiner. Cat 1 numbers, for example, feel a certain way on site. They'll be sort of disconcerting, scary. So you just kind of scroll over numbers until they trigger an emotional response, and then you categorize them into specific responses. If you're really unhappy, you can submit a resignation request with your outside self. And good luck getting that approved. And they do tend to be rejected. Plus. Yeah. yeah. What? You know, what? Since this perceptual version of you only exists at Lumen, and quitting would effectively end your life. I mean, in so much as you've come to know it. Well, Jesus, that's a dark way to look at it. Something about me is that I know all nine core Lumen principles. Awesome. What's your favorite? All nine. <laughs> no. <laughs> God, this shit is so lifeless. Throw a plant in the corner, man. I don't know if home is a house or an apartment or if I live with a family. I like to think my Audi lives on like a riverboat. Audi. So what you'll find here is that communication between selves is pretty curtailed. So what if I write her a note? Unfortunately, the elevators are equipped with something called code detectors. Mm. <laughs> so messages can't be passed through. So They're that's like what metal the... detectors for written symbols. Gotcha. Uh, that's what that was about with the security guard. I broke protocol this morning. I was dusting the old group photos, the ones with Petey, and it just made me feel sad. So I took them from the cubicles and put them in the storage closet, which we're not supposed to do. Why? Thank you for telling me, Mark. What is so wrong about that? It's a storage closet. It is puzzling you have an outburst like this for Petey and not for, say, Carol D. Well, fuck Carol, that's uh, why. I don't know if he's at some new job or drunk on a beach or dead that's enough please <laughs> oh my god Rick, this got emotional i also think that melon isn't getting any tastier <laughs> the mood just got ruined you can't just try to bring it up like that with some melon yeah milchick's a nice man and when he says something it's best to listen i don't care because he can't always be nice like that oh oh that was scary Kelly. Oh, I, I just think I'm not gonna work here anymore. Sorry. Uh, what do you mean? I don't think that's gonna work. There's code detectors. Do you know that? Have you tried? Because frankly, it sounds made up. I don't think it's made up. Nope. 
killed yet. They're going into lockdown now, man. Who is this hot shot? Come on out. Oh, you are a terrifying individual. If Heli tripped the code detectors, that one is on me. And uh, I apologize for that, sir. On you, then. This is the break room, huh? Just another long hallway. Just the light's a bit dimmer. What is the use of the word break? Well, so you're a doula. What the hell? So you don't know who you work with or what you do or or anything. Like you could have a girlfriend at Lumen and not know it. You could. And if you think like, you could get married and have kids and just forget they exist for eight hours every day for your whole life. I think for some people it's the point. Mm-hmm. For him specifically. To forget that he has nobody on the outside. So do you live in Lumen housing? You could sound like dorm. Lumen <laughs> housing? And yes, they happen to be subsidized by the company that employs Oh, that's Excuse me, do you have a moment curious. Okay. We're trying to get a measure on the ballot to keep mega corporations like Lumen from continuing to force legalized severance on our state. They're forcing it now? That's what they're lobbying for. What? You want to benefit off forced labor. Hey, that's man, up, that's up to you. Forced labor? Fucking really? Hey, yeah. Man. Forced labor. Oh, God. Severance is subjugation, asshole. Oh, that's nice language for it. Uh, what, what are you, 12? Are you 12 years old? Are you even in high school yet? Well, I think this date really went south. He got really defensive. Really defensive. Those, these are magic. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there would be a small guest apartment in the back in case I found a new man before I got there. Are you flirting? <laughs> she is so weird. Lumen must know that Petey escaped or did something like, I mean, obviously they do know because they're chasing after him, but like she's very suspicious for some reason of Mark specifically. Where's Mark? He's probably sick. They wouldn't bounce him and Petey the same week. Quarterly deadline's coming up and I'm not looking to be department chief. A lot of confidence for a man who once got disciplined for dozing. Dozing. Sleeping? They wouldn't have fired him for my note thing, would they? No, no way. He did a stint in the break room yesterday. What does that entail? Irving, are you all right, buddy? Oh, gross. What in the hell? Oh, this has got to be like, he's suffering some brain damage or something. Some like long-term effect of severance happening here. No! Oh my God. I'm sorry, Irving. <laughs> Irving. Interesting. I wonder if they bounced Torturo early on. Hmm? It's kind of a big name now. He was in the Batman. Oh, hello, man. Why do you have to... St He's so damn creepy. Well, no one is hankering to throw you in the break room. We'll do a wellness check with Miss Casey and go from there, all right? Was what happened, was that an instance of dozing? Is that what dozing is or something? What even are these numbers? Like, do we even know what we're supposedly cleaning? My theory? The C. The sea. Hmm. Shit must have gotten pretty bad. So what is a desperate humanity to do? Populate the sea. What? But first, so we send the probes down, they send us the data coded, we sense what's eels, and then we tell the probes what to blow up. Um, you lost me already. <laughs> now Irv thinks we're cutting swear words out of movies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's like so important that you'd have to cut an employee's brain though, so. I've been mapping out the floor. I hid the original for you when I left. There's this room. We go in there when we don't act right. Break room? I'm afraid you're not sorry. Please. I truly am. I'm sorry. Please read the statement again. Forgive me for the harm I have caused this world. All I can be is sorry, and that is all that I am. I'm afraid you don't mean it. Again. How did he get this recording? That's the break room. Is this the break room where you just repeat a phrase over and over again, like writing something on a chalkboard over and over like a kid? What's so bad about that? Act up at work? Fuck around, you find out. How did he get that recording, though? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there's walking. That piece hung in the perpetuity wing for many years. I know. It broke my heart when they took it down. It's better here. It's calming. 
Is it? A dude whipping people? Most people only think of O&D when new handbook totes come in. <laughs> well, I love those too. There's new ones coming next month. Best design yet, in my view. Oh, wow. Now that's all I'll be thinking about until then. You want me banking it that far, buddy. Oh, shit, this actress. Oh, she's so hot. She's from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She's uh, Daisy's mom. What I'd like to do is share with you some facts about your Audi. Well, you're not allowed to do Audi that. Well, there's something immediately sus about this. Your Audi is generous. Your Audi is strong and helps someone lift a heavy object. Oh my God. Your Audi the look on his face. And can swim gracefully and well. I'm loving the I'm acting sorry. here. Please try to enjoy each fact equally and not show preference for any over the others. That's 10 points off. You have 90 points remaining. <laughs> what? Your Audi is skilled at kissing and lovemaking. Oh. I'm sorry. That's 10 points. Please don't. That's 10 points off. I was just... Please don't speak further. <laughs> what is the point of this? I'm loving the acting on John Tartaro's part. If that's how you pronounce his name, I think it is. He really felt like a character who's like, he's wondered his entire life about what he's like on the outside and just the wonder that was on his face of finally hearing something. Very entertaining, interesting. I don't need to tell that's you a myth and don't pretend you care about this department. You just want your waffle pot. Oh, it's happened. That. You okay, just fence off the bad data like I showed you. And bin it. What are they actually binning? What is that? Boom. Oh my god, I, I am so curious what is actually behind those numbers that she just binned. It's gotta be something like incriminating of some type. Here's a couch. Oh no. Like your sleeping bag. No, you brought PD here. You can use the... He has no idea that Selvig is evil. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna die. Oh. Oh no. His brain is going through the ringer. All right, another episode down. Severance, episode two. I'm loving this so far. I'm loving it. Again, the concept, very interesting. And I just want to keep watching to keep seeing where it goes. And uh, just to see how crazy this story can get, you know? Yeah. Anybody live in that unit next door? No, it's just Mrs. Selvig in the other direction. The neighborhood never really filled up, so. I still think an occasional mixer. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit, man. His two conscious consciences. They're like clashing, it seems. What are those burnt ass biscuits, man? My first day at Lumen's as far back as my fifth birthday, and with two pass, it blurs the present too. But they said it would get better. Who's they? Who fixed you? What happened, man? They is a group of people that know severance is a blight on mankind. And they're going to do something about it. You know, it hasn't been a, uh, a blight for me. It's, it's helped me. What if the cost of that help is that you're murdering people eight hours a day and you don't even know it? Hmm. Is that just an analogy or is that what he's doing? PD, we're not at Lumen. Where the fuck is June? What? June is my daughter. Greatest kid on earth and a hell of a guitar player. So where the hell is she? Good question. Ew, what are you eating? Um, Mrs. Selvig is terrifying. I'm not gonna reintegrate. You know, I lost my wife a couple years ago in a car accident. This is, uh, it's helping me. I don't think it is, buddy. Just face it. You gotta face the trauma, face the pain, man. That's such a sad thing to do. I'm just de-icing my stew. Oh, no worries. Oh, thanks again for the cookies. I'll bring by more. No, thank you. I don't want your burnt ass cookies. Just about to do some breaking and entering now. Ooh, what a fucking view. You may as well skip it, actually. So I put in my resignation request. You did submit it. I did. Uh, just a couple things here. Why are you standing weird? Stand normal. I'm, I'm <laughs> standing great. I'm right. Post-it notes are not to be put on faces. They clog your Audi's pores. That one's about me. I do this beloved character, Sticky Head. Also, please refrain <laughs> from boasting about previously earned waffle parties. Feeling attacked? <laughs> uh, lastly, Helly's resignation request uh, was denied. How can they deny? I know they can't be right. My Audi wouldn't do that. 
Oh, I under I did I never understood what the resignation request meant, but it's a request to yourself on the outside. Okay, that makes more sense. But they always get denied conveniently. They never get delivered. Never. Perfect. Good. He's gonna be so excited. Yeah. I hope he comes home early. What is it? What did you deliver him? Cute little gift? You're gonna open his mail. Don't you dare. I love this. I love the shot. Hey. Oh my god, that's terrifying. How do you know what cubist form is? <laughs> and what the fuck are you wearing? God, this is so trippy. Oh, she's breaking and entering. Well, rather, just entering. No breaking required. No PDs here, ma'am. God, you are such a weirdo. Don't sniff his wife's art. Her candles. Aw, oh, you snoop. She's stealing it? Oh my god, he really went walking a good distance. Fine, Mark. I, I, I think I need to come in. That's... It's not gonna work, no. honey. Well, unfortunately, the detectors can pick up lettering anywhere. Does this look like lettering to you? <laughs> I thought you were starting to like be okay here. What, because I did the numbers thing? You know, a lot of people find joy in that. It literally causes fear. Well, there's just one. I am troubled by you having high stress exchanges like that so fresh off your food poisoning. It's <laughs> fine. But if it's a deeper meaning she craves, she should see the perpetuity wing. She can read about it. You guys have a whole lot of wings, man. There's a package left at his door from someone. Open it, would you? So this confirms that there's absolutely no severance. Did you fill out an official request for supervisory interaction? What? It's fine. Come in. So Sorry, unnecessary. I, I Dude eats, sleeps, and breathes this job. He doesn't have an outside world. Or he, he rather has, he breathes this work. He doesn't eat or sleep. He can't just walk up to a boss and say, hey, what's up? Why are you going to make me throw my mug at you? Jeez. Hey, Why would you... Oh my god damn that's something else that's crazy is that like you can just be completely mistreated physically emotionally but, like they can get away with whatever the hell they want upper management with their employees best delt 30 bucks best ab 20 it's bucks not gonna work Biceps man are... what's she gonna drink it oh honey thirsty oh ow how could you let that go down it's milchick's job to extract the message from you when he asks how long ago you ingested it, I really can't recommend honesty enough. It's easier for you both if he knows which end to start from. Oh my god. <laughs> god so everything seems to have been tried. You know what would be a shame though is if you were to figure out a way to get the message across, but it's such a vague and like difficult message to understand that your Audi would just be like, what the hell is this? And just completely disregard it. Quite fine. Egan Bingo. Oh, I'll we should, right? Hey, what the hell is Egan Bingo? It's how you don't die of boredom in the perpetuity way. Uh -huh. Come on. Oh, what's up, Bert? Why did the music get all weird? Optics and design. Oh my God. Back with that on refinement. We'll have those new handbook totes soon. So exciting. Thanks for the tip. You got some business okay. or you just out for a fucking stroll? Dylan. Oh what? my God. I Egg drop challenge in the team building space. Egg drop challenge. You buy this fucking shit? And what are you Jesus. guys doing? Jesus. Like r rival departments. It was like cats and dogs crossing paths. Just immediately turned to hostility. That was weird. O and D tried a violent coup on the others decades ago, and that's why they reduced them down to two, and that's why they keep us all so far apart now. That's an absolute thing. God, you are full of theories. If they come back and attack us, I think we should kill Mark. Like I'm imagining them rounding a corner and we're all blood soaked and I'm wearing your face. Seems like they'd recognize my face. Maybe if you wore it inside out. Mm. They're gonna develop some kind of relationship inside. Ew, what the hell? Is that Mr. Egan, like, taxidermied? And no, the children of my blood. <laughs> it's like a House of Wax figure. This poor man is just lost. I learned that I work for a company that has been actively caring for mankind since 1866. Have you, though? Look, each of these is a real smile. Someone Lumen Industries has helped. 
How do you know, do you though? Know? My point is, you're part of a history now. A noble one. And that's... God, this just sounds like propaganda. Like, obviously, they'd be feeding you sh good shit. Like, yeah, oh, we fight a noble cause. Like, obviously, they tell you that they fight a noble cause. But you don't know what the cause actually is, though, that you're fighting. I can't wait to find out. If we even do, that could be like an end. I I'm treating this as if it's like a mini series, but I'm pretty sure they've already got a season two confirmed. Kia. It's his house? A perfect replica. Yeah, pretty cool. That is pretty cool, building a perfect replica down here. She's starved for meaning here. So, of course, you'd pervert our founder's message with jokes and Aye. impiety. That's definitely what she needs from her department chief. You're such a teacher's pet. Helly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Helly bounced. Helly. What are you thinking? Shaky cam with crazy music. Oh, damn, it's going down. Oh, Helly. Oh, Helly. God, well, you tried. Did she get far enough out the door for the message to sink in? I doubt it. Well, you're in massive trouble. How do you explain that to her Audi? That massive gash on her arm now. Okay, here we go, break room. Break room. What does break mean? Read it. I don't want to. Ooh. No. Do. Well, you've convinced me. Forgive me for the harm I have caused this world. I'm afraid you don't mean it. Again, please. Again. Really? You just read shit over and over and over and over again? Is that really just all it is? I was expecting, like, bones being broken. It's crazy that the picture of them with Petey looks more like friends taking pictures, but the one with, uh, Haley just... Oh, shit! There was the hidden map that Petey was talking about. Mind. I need tokens so I can eat! Oh, he, he's going so crazy. He, he's done. Petey? Petey's dead in a convenience store, man. Yeah, he's in rough shape. No, oh, he's, he's good. He's alive. Not for long, though. Man, in his robe, too. And down he goes. He ain't breathing, huh? So Petey's down for the count now. Well, reintegrating doesn't sound very fun. If that was his uh, his pitch into getting Mark into reintegrating, I don't think it was very effective. It's definitely gonna have to work out a couple hitches at least. Oh, he left his phone. All right, another episode down, baby. Yeah. I'm officially a fan of this show. Adam Scott's a beast. John Turturro's a beast. Ben Stiller, who has directed the first three episodes, and I imagine is going to carry through the, for the rest of the season. Ben Stiller has been killing it as the director. It's been a very, 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 very intriguing premise. Petey's dead. Peter Kilmer, he's out. I have no... Like, I can't even predict where this stuff is going. I have no clue. Like, it's not even worth trying to predict. It's just like, this is all just really insane stuff, but I'm so gripped by it. You know, it's so entertaining, and I cannot wait to see some more, man. All I can be is sorry, and that is all I am. Jesus Christ, she's like a shell of herself now. I'm afraid you still don't mean it. <laughs> Look at her! What do you mean? It's hard for her to mean anything. We'll try again in the morning. Well, it's a good thing they respect, like, the work schedule, you know? They're not totally messed up employers. They're like, okay, it's 5 o'clock. She needs to go home. We don't want to get a citation. This guy's packing some ass. That's so gross. Oh, that's so messed up. She just got done with all that torture and she just blinks and then there she is. I read it 300 times yesterday. 259. Again, please. Now. I really am sorry, okay? I'm sorry. God, this really no is. paraphrasing. Again. This really is hell. It's crazy. The thought that, you know, this other half of you that goes to work, they're going through torture. They have to go through it over and over and over again. That's just the rest of their life with no choice in the matter. Like, and you had, you have no idea, man. They're just stuck in hell. Stuck in the bad place. This is a banger of a theme. A banger of an opening th sequence, man. God, that's a beauty. 
I'll say it every time they show it. Every time they do that establishing shot, I'm going to say it. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I'm Bert from Optics and Design. Hi, Irving. Hi, Bert. Well, There's gotta be something bigger going on with Walken. Bert. You brought pre-release handbook totes for us. Seemed like the right thing. <laughs> I know you. John Turturro genuinely might be one of the most adorable human beings alive. There's just something about him, man. What's up, Helly? How many times? 1,072. Jesus! So you did it 800 more times? God, these hallways are a labyrinth, man. It's Irving B. from Macro Data Refinement. We met in the hall the other day. <laughs> Bert. I never thought I'd see the handbook passage depicted visually. It was only up for a month or so. A man, what a month. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go. Conference room. Oh, the book it's from Dr. Rickon. What's this? Well, you something I found. I think Petey made it. What the fuck is this? They look like houses, right? Well, maybe they're on the outside and Petey found a way to get to them. So why would they be on a map of the severed floor? It could be a thing, you don't yeah, know. What? It's not a thing. You're more loyal to this place than to your friend. The work is bullshit. The work? is mysterious and important. Mysterious. And we I could not, with a razor to my throat, be less interested in being your family. Whoa. Your best friend left this for you, and you don't give a shit. He does. It's in there. So the houses on the map, it must be like the houses that he lives in on the outside, right? That's owned by Lumen. Oh, dude. Thank you, Helly. Now we can get back to work. Come on, man. Be content, in my words, and dally not in the scholastic pursuits of lesser mm -hmm. men. No books except the handbook, I know. Interesting. Excuse me, Helly. Jesus, Helly. Oh. I want a camera. I am so sorry, Miss. Oh, Pedro. okay, that's what she was looking what at that happening? for. You're going to give me a video camera so I can tape a resignation to my Audi. But you'd never know that it got delivered. That's just... <sighs> that's Holy Cobell. shit. Yeah. This is gangster. Hey. I mean, in theory, this is a great idea. It's just, how can you know that the tape ever gets delivered to your Audi? You get to just walk out, make sure you walk out with it? Yeah, she's walking out with it, okay. If you get out though, they ain't letting you get very far. I was never sorry. God, you, I, I hope she gets out then. Jesus, she's gonna be in massive trouble. Huh? What happened? I also received an responded to your previous request. Now, Miss Cobell says you threatened to cut off your fingers. I understand that you're unhappy with the life that you've been given, but you know what? Eventually we all have to accept reality. I am a person, you are not. Okay. Oh my God. I make the decisions. Oh my God. And if you ever do anything to my fingers, know that I will keep you alive long enough to horribly regret that. Holy shit. Your resignation request is denied. I was wrong. Oh my God. I didn't even think about, why would I give a shit what my work half feels like? I'm not the one feeling the torture and I'm getting money. I'm bringing money in and I'm not feeling torture. So why should I quit? Damn, dude, that is insane. Well, yeah, the request definitely gets delivered. That is wild. We have to get his chip. His corpse is scheduled to be destroyed by cremation following his funeral on Sunday. Is she gonna do something crazy at Petey's funeral? I don't know if this is a good idea, showing up to his funeral. No, shit. What are you doing here? Oh, he used to come by my shop. He adored my hibiscus wrap. Oh my God. Well, on the upside, at least now we both have a date. <laughs> this Cobell is really good at uh, acting and playing shit off. I would never be able to suspect her of anything. Is this daughter, yeah. June? He was my dad. Daughter. Oh. I suppose you were close and everything. Hmm? <laughs>
I thought June was like kidnapped by Lumen or something. And they, uh, what was the room that he described or something where like people don't come back from or whatever the hell? Because he was like, there's a room where people don't come back. If not, then where's my June? Something like that. I forget, man. It was yesterday. He clearly was losing his marbles by the end, so I don't know. Oh, she's gonna violate the body at a funeral. Oh, she's got the whole drill and everything. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it is kind of in the head. Oh my god, right into the side of his head. Oh, that's so gross. I really hope they have no plans to open the casket. Oh yeah, you're about to bust Kobel Selvig. Whatever her name is, even. Oh, oh she's gone. Oh, damn it. What is he doing? Stopping to take a leak? Oh, that's the tree that his wife crashed into. Oh, that's kind of sad. Well, he's... He's facing it head on. That's Petey. No, it's that's his chip, Petey. dummy. Yes. Ooh, hello. I'd like you to run a special wellness session with Marcus. What's the problem? He just needs it. Trust me. God, just one painting in this lifeless ass hallway. I mean, I I said that hey, you need to add something to these hallways. It seems really out of place, but I guess you got to start somewhere. Is it awful to say I don't care for that one? Honestly, it makes me nervous too. If I embarrassed myself, you didn't. Hmm? Unless are you embarrassed? No. Good. Would MDR consider joining? MDR would. Oh, God, this is adorable. I just can't help but assume that there's something sinister to Bert's character. We haven't seen anybody from the board. We haven't even heard the voice of the board. Maybe because the voice of the board would be too recognizable. As recognizable as the voice of Christopher Walken. I don't know, man. You don't get Christopher Walken just to be a love interest for a side character. Or maybe you do. But I've lived abroad as a vagrant, abstaining from my own money to rely on the church. He's reading Rickon's book. That's cute. Reading his brother-in-law's passages. Oh, God. Hope she's just going to plug something in. I was thinking maybe, like, for Heli, it'd be kind of a slam dunk on your Audi to, like, you know, never go home. Just always constantly work. Never go home. But then your Audi wouldn't really ever notice. Oh, Heli. Oh, that's the Sometimes. candle that was stolen. It's his wife's candle. All right. I think it's so weird, the idea of someone monitoring a therapy session. Maybe it's a thing that happens, I guess. I don't know. But like, he's going through something in a wellness therapy session, and his boss is just watching it. Seems like a breach of privacy. I don't know. Call me crazy. Destiny. Is she going to try to do some gangster shit where she hangs herself in the elevator so that her Audi experiences it? Oh my god, that would be so Gangster! That would be the most badass thing you could possibly do. I really don't want to see it happen because I really do like Heli, but I would respect the shit out of it. Whoa! Tea. Look at this place. Tea. How are you? Good. Yeah? Seems like you're getting the hang of oh, stuff no. now. Uh oh, he said hang of stuff! He gave her the idea! He gave her the idea! <laughs> oh, shit! I hate that Apple does this where they pop up the fucking screen right as she did the thing, pulled the trigger, but I, I hate Apple TV Plus's player. All right, Severance Episode 4. This show is such a banger, man. This show is great. I have no complaints at all. It looks like Heli might be done for. I don't know. Maybe there's a chance she's alive. Maybe. But to be honest, if that's the way to go, that's a like that's an awesome way to go. Is like, I mean, her Audi was such a asshole. Hey, you're not a person. I call the shots around here, so you better just shut the fuck up, fall in line, and do your work. So she hangs herself. So like right when her Audi comes back into consciousness, she's running out of air. I like that's that is such a gangster move from Heli. I really enjoy Heli's character. I thought she was amazing. And I think that's a great way for her character to go out. And I'm sure it would be a great, like, I don't know, motivator maybe for Mark. I don't know. I don't know. This show is so damn interesting. I'm such a huge fan of what has been going on so far. Technically, I'm not even halfway through the show yet. So, so far it's been a huge W. Really hoping it can keep the same quality going forward. 
<laughs> oh, oh, that transition into being hung. Oh, that's rough, Heli. God, that's such a baller thing to do. Heli Lee? Yeah. Dylan's getting all invested in shit now, too. Oh, poor Mark, you're about to see something horrifying. Jesus. Oh, man. Is she okay? I don't think so. Oh, she looks like she's still in there. Get in the elevator! Oh, poor guy. Oh, my God. Is she okay? Wow, man. And he's just gonna flash back. He's gonna come back to work. God, what a cold open. God damn, man. Well, Heli might have survived that suicide attempt, but uh, I don't think she's going to be allowed to work anymore. Why exactly? Like, what would be so bad about Lumen just letting an employee leave? Obviously, like, the Audi version of Heli doesn't want to leave, but say if she did, would they be all right with that? It's not like they can reveal any secrets unless they were to get reintegrated, which seems to be their main concern. Still have no damn clue what Lumen is hiding. Not even a hint. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, great. She's in the hospital. <sighs> She has severe bruising, but thankfully, no permanent damage. Okay. I don't buy it. And she will be back at her desk in a few days. Is that enough time? No way. The book is, what is that dude's name? Mr. Mil, Milditch, Milrich, Milmitch. Like he knows the book was here and I'm sure he's like, oh crap, I left that book somewhere and now I can't find it anywhere. No. Or did he just completely forget about it? There's a lot going on with employees trying to commit suicide. A good person will follow the rules. A great person will follow himself. Bullies are nothing but bull and lies. Well, I think the message is getting across, but they're super corny messages, man. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Going into labor? Devin's at four centimeters, so this baby is officially coming. Hell yeah. Baby time. Did you forget that I was going to be here? Slightly. Look, I'm uh, sorry about yeah, the. It's a bit night. awkward. Yeah, you almost beat the shit out of some kids right in front of her. Hey, thank you for uh, you know taking care of her. Yeah, of course. She's cute, dude. You gotta do something. You gotta get on that. The fetus is drawn to clear air. Purging secrets can create a soul void that speeds the labor. Okay, and we want that. Oh, we do. Babe, maybe not right now. <laughs> I love you, and I feel hurt that you haven't called me to thank me for the book yet. Aww. Well, this is good. We can finish setting up the room. Um, oh, Mark, would you help me hang the kelp? What? That sounds like an innuendo of some kind. Hi, excuse me? Sir? What are you doing? Sir, I'm another pregnant lady from over there. I just came out on a coffee run, and I got distracted by your beautiful coffee, and I was wondering if there's any chance you could hook me up. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, this is kind of weird. Three kiddos. I'm so fucking scared of ruining one child. <laughs> How do you handle it? A lot of help, I guess. Yeah. Who are you? Oh, what is going on here? If the thief reads the book, it will have been worth it. In fact, I bet you he turns himself in afterward. <laughs> you have a lot of confidence in yourself, man, and your writing abilities. Respect it. There was something really weird about that interaction that she just had with this Gabby next door. Who's the father? Christopher Walken, maybe? Need me to tell a secret? <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. I kind of think Lumen might be up to something. Do you remember the businessman? Oh! <laughs> well, I'm glad he's starting to share a little bit. Who is calling, man? Who is this blocked number that keeps calling? So this will be Any Heli's first conscious experience since the hanging. When she sees you, it's important your eyes be kind. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. It's all right. Jesus Christ. Glad Heli's still alive, man. What was Audi Heli thinking, man? Like, I wouldn't be able to trust myself anymore. Like, yeah, all right, you know what? Any Heli wins. I'm not going back there. I'm here to observe Heli R. I'm to watch her for signs of sadness and verbally encourage her to forego further suicide attempts. Upon request, I can also perform a hug. Aww. You know, I've been uh, exhibiting signs of sadness. Could I get one of those? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> Respect. Like, if she's not even working, like, what is the point of having her as an employee? Let her go. Oh, gross. No. Don't start dozing out again, man. What is this? I have to go to O&D, and I, I'd like to seek Bert's counsel. Goodness, what is that art piece? What is happening? What is Irv's issue, man? We must have sent this print job here by mistake. You weren't supposed to see this. Oh, what that wasn't a hallucination. Nothing. It's the O&D coup, isn't it? One that Dylan talks about. Of course not. Nothing like that could happen here. I could ask. Your new friend who lied to you about the size of his department? How do we know what else he isn't being kosher about? That's true. I thought it might dissuade him from spending so much time with Bert G. Ah, okay. So is he like encouraging the fear of a coup? You're having her watch Helly R. May I ask why? Well, so she doesn't kill herself. Keep it between us. God, you make me uncomfortable. You know, I go to distribution supply all the time, so I could, uh, if you... Keep trying, man. Break down those walls. Petey's map. Yeah, since you've been kind of been trying to recreate it on my lunch breaks. I thought maybe if we work on it together, we can... Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm not your new PD. Oh, come on. You wanted him to show that he gives a shit. Now he's showing that he gives a shit. Bert G is in the conference room. Why would she tell him that? I was looking for you. I hadn't heard from you. Well, I... I mean... Ah! Oh, Dylan looking out for his buddy. Helly. This is cool, the light's following her. Where is this leading though? What is at the end of this hallway? Don't focus on her. What do you want? In here. To get the fuck well, out. It's for her to wake up while the life drains out of her and to know it was me who did it. <laughs> Holy shit, what a beast. Are they birthing people down here? Are they birthing people down here? Why did you lie about the number of people in your department? We don't trust you guys. But people just talk about MDR, stupid old stories, jokes even. It's literally silly. Like they say, you all have pouches. <laughs> pouches? I'd be remiss not to say that in this theory, the larva eventually eats and replaces you, which Irving would solve the mystery of your youthful energy. <laughs> so basically on O&D's side of things, they don't trust MDR. Just like MDR don't trust O&D. Makes sense. Dude, why is there a baby down here, huh? I knew it sounded like a goat or something. I, it didn't sound like a baby baby. What is a goat little, little calf? That's adorable. Uh, the goat department, I see. It is in time. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'm confused. What kind of barbarities were we enacting? It doesn't matter. I, I, I don't think it was real. I mean, I'll have to confer with my lava, of course. <laughs> <laughs> These two are adorable. Relationships beyond the uh, platonic are frowned upon anyway. Is that what we are? Would you like to come in? There is something in the storeroom to show you and dylan of course oh that's suspicious i don't know what to think man like i like bert and irving and their relationship it's cute but god damn it i don't want it to be a big like you you, ca you cast christopher walken to be a, a major character do you not <laughs> not a side to a side character oh well there's the piece grim barbarity it's not the same look at the badges the raiders are wearing that's not o and d dylan it's us it's called the Macro Data Refinement Calamity. Okay, but we've never done anything like that. Why the hell would there be two versions of the same painting? Lumen likes them being at odds or something? What is, that is a good question. If you give me the map, I'll clean it up. Your drawing is shit. Aww. You're both unhurt. We, we are. Why would they be hurt? Why do you have to fear for your employees' safety? What are in these hallways? I would be careful. Upstairs wouldn't look kindly on this. Yes, Daddy. Daddy? Oh, we're getting kinky up in this bitch. Excuse me, everyone. 
You guys have a lot of fucking space. They're from MDR. They're friends. Oh, look at him in the background. Oh, Irving is adorable, man. God, I love John Turturro. All right, episode five, I think. Shit's getting real weird, man. Lumen, every time I, like, it it seems like stuff is starting to get figured out. Like, we're starting to see, like, more revealed and uncovered. But when it feels like one question is answered, it brings up, like, 11 more. So I, I think I'm just as more confused now as I was five episodes ago, but I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I'm glad Heli's alive. Heli and uh, Mark are now kind of officially on their own alliance thing going on. And then Dylan and Irving are off doing their own thing with O&D. I'm enjoying the hell out of this show and I'm ready for some answers soon. Ew, is she wearing Petey's chip? We found the signature from the console they used to hack the chip. Whose was it? Ours. I think it's traceable to Ragabi. Ragabi. She cracked reintegration. I'll find her. Ragabi. So that's our answer for reintegration? This Ragabi person? Oh my god, you're so weird. Oh my god, you have a shrine to Egan? God, this Lumen shit is the weirdest cult. Hmm. You just ditched it? Did you at least call the number back first? God damn it. Who could possibly be the caller if it's not like Lumen? Why would Lumen still be calling the phone even after they found Kilmer? I come here sometimes, just me. Yeah, they have plenty of uh, uh, scenery that they could be spreading around the office that they're just hoarding in this room. The Lumen manual doesn't say anything about lip to lip contact. It does discourage romantic fraternization. Hey, it doesn't have to be romantic to be lip to lip. Though. Yeah, exactly. That's what I just said. Purely platonic. Stay here with me. Oh, I don't trust it. I don't. I've officially come to the conclusion I don't trust Christopher Walken. But god damn it, do I really, really want to. Ah! Mm. Gabby. Oh, she's. Given the cold shoulder, she really wanted that coffee, huh? I accosted you for your coffee. <sighs> oh, he's beautiful. This is so awkward. The juice box is in the car. Is that Grainer? Who is that? Who is that? Hi. Ew, who are you? Angelo Arteta. You two know each other? Yeah, I was. Uh, we met at the birthing cottages. <laughs> I haven't met either of these characters before. Before the birthing cottages, that is. What is so weird about them? The work is mysterious and important. That's good that sounds just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Back to work, slackers. God damn it, I love her. Grace Care. Mm, God damn. Hey. Miss Casey was told to supervise Helly, and she failed at that task. Because I snuck Helly out. I mean, you if anyone should be her? in the break room, it's me. Oh, she's in the break room. <laughs> oh, poor Miss Casey. It's not your job to play nursemaid to every new refiner. Okay, so what is my job? Are you really oh. asking me that? Yeah. Ooh. What is it we actually do here? Mm. We surf gear, you child! MDR's hallway privileges are hereby revoked. Wow. So get your little ass back to your desk <laughs> and stay there until you're told to move. God damn, dude, this is terrible. God, this place is hell. And we're not allowed in the outer hallways anymore till we hit quota. So no more interdepartmental visits. Aw, don't yell at Irving. I'm sorry, Mark. It's it's my fault. Oh, come on. I've been setting a bad example as the senior most refiner. Come on. Which way did you say it was to O and D? Yeah, fuck your revoked of privileges. Go wherever the hell we damn well please, baby. Yeah, look at these guys. They look so badass. Mill check. I'm on it. It's called macrodata refinement. What do you refine? Macrodata. We think it might be supplies for the executive wing upstairs. Last week's output had more of an aggressive feel. Hatchets weren't aggressive. We've been what? trying to figure out how it all fits together. We found a uh, department, well, raising baby goats. Raising baby goats? It's a sacrifice to Lord Keir Egan. Why won't they tell us what we're doing here? If the Egan philosophy is illumination above all. Illumination beyond all. Then why doesn't that include us? 
Facts. Why are we down here still working in the dark? Oh, revolution time, baby. That was poetic as shit, man. <laughs> and we could each bring one aid to camp. Oh, Milchik's pissed. He ain't happy. That's a lot of people going to the break room. Key, chosen one key. Okay. Progress, knowledge, show no fear. Here, chosen one key. It's awfully weird to have a song dedicated, a theme song for Keir Egan, but it's kind of a banger. Miss Casey's done at least. She got it. Hello, Miss Casey. How sorry are you today? What happened to your hand? Apparently, I jammed my hand at work replenishing a water cooler. <laughs> or at least that's what they tell me. Yeah, come on. Oh my god. What did he do? Did he punch the door? What did he do? Uh, did, did you ever think about having kids? No, my wife died in a horrible car accident. As a matter of fact, knowing my luck, she should probably stay clear of the roads. You know, one time we were supposed to go on this camping trip. And is it weird that I'm talking about her right now? I feel like... No, I think it's also healthy. Yeah, but we're on a date. I, I haven't walked out on you yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit, you're winning, man. She's a part of you. You know, you can't just separate yourself. Oh, no, but you can, <gasps> Alexa. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> With this exciting new procedure. <laughs> Look right. Well, he's not doing too bad at, you know, being social. He could be a lot more awkward. Ah, pro severance. Leading figure. So that's what's up with that weirdo guy and his wife. They're one of the top spokespeople of the severance procedure. Ah, oh, you must be Devin. Devin, this is Mrs. Selvig. What are you doing here? You're not a lactation. What are you doing? She humming that Egan song. She better not be. Oh shit, what is this? Dylan, I've awoken you at home. I need to know where you put it. The ideographic card you took from O&D. Holy shit, is this my house? Dylan, what is listen, going on? Whoa! I have no idea how sensitive this information is. Daddy! Daddy! We told you to count to a thousand and wait outside. End it. End it? What? You can turn off the Zephyr switch just like that? Also, he got really handsy and aggressive with this poor kid. What a little dickhead. Oh, that was interesting. That was a new development. That's June. Should we go to this, maybe? If it's lame, we'll leave. How the hell can you recognize really June on that picture? I hate you, Lumen! You took my first love! Hate you, Lumen! Fuck you, Lumen! I hate you, Lumen! Jeez, Lumen has some serious haters. She's the daughter of uh, someone I worked with. It's been difficult to piece together. Oh shit, that was the final piece of the puzzle. He's like, okay, all right, now I'm ready to make out with him. That's all I needed to hear. Your coworker died? Mm -hmm. Someone's holed up in one of Gans's old lab buildings. The dean's told security to look the other way. Probably is Rikabi. Wanna come with me and find out? No, I do not. Let me know when you have her. Who the hell is Rikabi? So, you're like a nurse or something? Fuck no, she's not. Ooh, nice. Good shit, Mark. <laughs> I just immediately started ringing. You've reached Petey's phone. Who is this? Friend of Petey's. Are you there? Ragabi? Is this Mark Scout? Oh! I want to understand. Can you meet me now? Ooh, shit. Yes, absolutely, 100%. So they're just gonna be straight up locked in. No getting out. Gonna treat that place even more like a prison. Are you alone? Oh shit. Hey, what's up? Come with me. Shit, Grainer's coming too, I think. What? It's ending? What? Damn it. Come on, really? All right, well, episode six of severance man we're officially two-thirds of the way through and still no 
goddamn answers. I love the show. This this show is amazing so far. I'm I'm in love with it. I'm in love with everything about it. But god damn it, man. My brain needs some needs some answers soon. But I imagine shit's gonna start kicking into high gear now in these last three episodes. I imagine. For some reason, I just I assume that this is a mini series and that I'm going to get all my answers by the end of it. But I'm about like 90% sure that they confirmed a season two. So I need to really get that assumption out of my head. Like I'm not going to get everything answered. I'm not going to get every possible payoff. Like that's just not gonna happen. But God damn it, dude. I just, I wanna see it, man. I wanna see Lumen fall. You could have thrown away PD's phone weeks ago. Why didn't you? Well, he did. So think about that. I put that chip in your head and I'm still the only one who can deactivate ah. it. My any lives his own life. And as a result, uh, I get to live mine. I don't know about that one. You brought him into this world without his permission, based on your own desire for emotional convenience. I'm not a bad person. I think you want to do what's right, both of you. Mr. Scout. Oh, Grainer, what's up, guy? We work together. Down there. Is he a double agent? Is he a double agent? You having a chat with someone, Mark? Oh, he just doesn't uh, see. He it's doesn't, okay. I'm a friend. He doesn't see Rogabi. Oh my god damn, upside the head! What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Come here! His arms! <laughs> I thought he was like secretly partners or something. He came around the corner all friendly and shit. I thought he saw Rogabi. He didn't. God, she just immediately resorted to bashing his fucking skull in. Greener's security card. Take it to work tomorrow. He'll know what to do. Ooh. Oh no, it's fun. Do. Oh my god, what a crazy ass intro. I don't know if that was just a fancy shot or if that meant somebody was looking through that little hole. Crazy ass start to the episode. God damn. Yeah, well, shit's starting to hit the fan. I find it so fun watching the different perspectives. There's like a story happening, but they're completely different on both sides. But at the same time, they're not. Adam Scott's character, Mark, he's uh very conflicted about trying to fight Lumen on both sides of the spectrum. Just trying to do what's right, as Rugabi said. He wants to do what's right. Oh, get, oh, that's right. She's home. Oh, She's here. Hey. I heard the car. You heard a car? Uh-oh. Um, You're being weird. But uh, maybe it was just a uh, dream. Mm. The gaslighting tactic, classic. I uh, it's needed to drive a little. Are you okay? I don't trust her, by the way. I don't trust her one bit. Do you want me to go? I don't know. I really don't. Maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Mark. Mark. Hey. You usually dispose of your waste. In the early afternoon. Oh, don't be oh, weird. Whoa. Why would you pay attention to that kind of pattern? Who cares what time he takes his garbage out? I take my garbage out whenever it's full. Jack Frost certainly needs some new dandruff shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is she talking about? Yes, we get it. You, you built a brand new cell. They can't get out. Awesome. How nice. So I wonder what this key card or diagram thing, what it does. Clearly, extremely important. What happened last night is called the overtime contingency. It's a safeguard we occasionally employ to remotely awaken workers off site. The boy, was he, was that my son? He'd agreed to count to a thousand, which he then violated. So we killed him. Can you tell me his name? Not knowing, probably for the best. Just how you're just gonna let the curiosity run wild? I think it would be interesting to see some of these guys outside of work, see their outies. We obviously saw that little glimpse of Dylan, but to see what he's actually like, and then also like Irving and Heli. We all, we've got quite a taste of what Heli's like, but. I love the soundtrack for this show. It's so scientifically fictitious. It's a nice. Marcus is here. Marcus is here. Here you go. Straight from the hills of Rwanda. Thanks. <laughs> so I lean oh. my upper body slightly forward. Okay, it's a doll. <laughs> Show the baby the areola. And we latch. <laughs> Why is she doing this? Why does she, what is she doing with Mark's sister? Why? What's her play? And she's trying to do it in the toilet paper, but it's just flying everywhere. 
<laughs> Cobell is really good at like character work. She clearly plays like several different characters with a bunch of different people. It's kind of scary. A little bit. I'm wondering if even Cobell's a character or if that's just who she is, Cobell. They say that they only sever people for work. What if someone, like, what if you wanted a baby, but you didn't want to? She proposed that maybe people get severed just to miss out on the entire birthing experience, the entire pregnant experience. Is that possible? Does he ever talk about her? Not as much as I'd wish. When my husband passed, I thought I saw him everywhere. It was just so hard. Hmm. Well, that's because you're Looney Tunes, honey. It's an MDE. She got to 75%. What? Helly R, please step forward. Helly? You have earned for you and your fellow refiners a five minute music dance experience. Ew. A five minute music dance experience. Mm, yes. How fun. I urge all the refiners to take advantage of the opportunity presented. Oh my god, Dylan is just so, like, not having it. Waking him up was a mistake. He got a small little taste of the outside world, and now he knows, like, okay, everything in here, bullshit. Oh, Milchick's getting in on it. Look at Heli having a good time. <laughs> well, this definitely is fun. Won't knock it. Goddamn. Milchick is a good-looking man. <laughs> that is a funny ass shot. Oh, Dylan. Why is Dylan being such a square? <laughs> Bobby, yep, see? He's biting, biting him. I knew not telling him the name would at least, like, be worse. Gonna let the curiosity run wild. Turn the man feral. I'm reporting this to Miss Cobell. Yeah, you wanna go see her together? Ooh, damn! <laughs> Bad ass! The music dance experience is officially canceled. But we only did, like, two minutes of it. I woke up outside in my house with Milchik. I saw my son. Happened so fast, I just keep trying to remember more. But now I'm just supposed to have that in my head every day here. Yeah, I know, I never right? Get to see him again. Right, exactly. exactly. If they can wake us up on the outside, what's to stop us from doing it to ourselves? We can find whatever they use to control it and, you know, commandeer it. The controls are surely somewhere we can't access. Ooh, nice. The security office. Why does your Audi have the key card of our head of security? Fighting the rebellion on the outside, too. Yeah. Where are you going? I have to make sure Bert's okay. Oh. What about the plan? I, I'm sorry, Mark. I can't hear you. I'll be back. Aww. Here's hoping there's nobody just sitting inside. What was the name of the thing? The oversight something? The overtime contingency. Yeah, I imagine this contingent contingency thing is locked behind a locked door, behind a locked door, behind a locked door. Can't imagine it's a very easy thing to access. The board reminds you that reintegration has reintegration not happened. And I have the data to prove it. I be happy to share my findings in person without intermediaries. The board agrees and will be available to meet with you at the Egan Family Gala next week to discuss this further. Nice! Can't wait to meet this board. Oh, they're having a big old melon party. There's a bunch of steps, but it's actually pretty straightforward. But to do this, one of us has to stay behind. Yeah, right? after work, I can do it. I've already been out, so it's only fair. Very noble of you, but I think it's designed as a two-man operation. Great, I have the strength of two men. <laughs> two lever switches that you have to hold open during the actual procedure, and they're on either side of the door. I can do it. But what can you accomplish doing it, though? Because I don't believe your Audi would gain any knowledge or anything. So you'd just be able to get a little taste of the outside world. That's it. So I'm not quite sure what exactly the plus is. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, that's a goodbye, Bert. Goodbye, Bert. Where is he going? This is kind of strange, but a lot of things about this job are. Of course, I don't really know any of you, but the man standing there with you now does. I do know how I feel. Every day when I come from being with you, I come home feeling tired but fulfilled. I feel satisfied. I must like you. Today is my last day with you. I will never forget any of you. I just want to say thank you all. And Bert, I see you. <laughs> bon voyage. But whose idea was it for him to leave? Was it Lumen's or his Audi? 
I'm very concerned. You're all just gonna stand here and let him die. Are we being punished? Bert's Audi is retiring. It'll happen to you too someday. You smug mm. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> You're not severed. You walk out of here with your memories. You carry them home with you every night. No one can rip them away from you. Snuff them out like you never existed. That's enough. Ooh. That's all say goodbye to Bert. The timing is too convenient. He's just retiring. I don't know. Oh, just a handshake. Let's burn this place to the ground. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, dude. That was so satisfying. This character's come a long way, huh? Fuck the word of Keir Egan. My phone. Right, yeah, come on in. Okay, I'm gonna go. No, 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 come on. Look, Mark, on. I just don't think you're ready for this. No, I think I'm really ready no. for, for this. I don't think you're ready for anything. I think you're a mess right now. Well, I'm, I'm really Facts. sorry. See? That's her. Don't, don't, don't. That's, this isn't the point you want to make. This isn't the point you want to make. Oh, dude. Gone. Yeah, you should probably leave. Well, she made the right choice, most definitely. You got shit to figure out, my guy. I loved all these things about her. I'll be looking at Why do they never want to show the face? Oh, there it is. Oh! Oh, shit! Miss Casey! That would be why they're not showing the face. Holy shit! Boom! Holy shit! They just dropped a crazy-ass reveal like that. God damn, we haven't seen her in a minute too. I think the last time we saw her was when she was getting punished in the break room and then she'd squeezed right by Mark while they were passing each other in the hall. And they said that she's a part-time innie as well, but that's clearly not the case because she can't be an Audi because she's dead on the outside. Oh my God, that is so interesting. That is such an interesting twist. God damn, shit's getting hot. Oh my God, you know something that just occurred to me is a couple episodes ago back, ow, I just put my tongue a little bit. Cobell sent Mark for a wellness session and they were like, why are you sending him for a session she was like trust me he just needs it right now and it was just so that he could be with his wife crazy shit's crazy man we're seeing irving howdy irving he's an artiste the hell is this art that he's making though Oh, the black goo. That's what Irving sees when he dozes out. Well, considering he's an artist on the outside world, no wonder he was so interested in Bert's art pieces on the inside. What is he doing, man? What is the point of his art? He looks like he makes the same art piece over and over again. God, this show is so interesting, man. I have truly, like, can't name a single complaint I have. Like, this might be one of the best first seasons of television I've watched in a minute, man. That is assuming that they do have a season two confirmed, like I think that they do. Because there's about, like, a 10% chance that this is actually a miniseries. I think you'll have it, but I'll get there. She's not gonna make it, is she? I just wonder if it might be helpful for us to stand behind her and perhaps chant her name. So what, they need her to reach a certain goal, like maybe a full 100%? Ew, they have cameras just directly in the monitors? Oh, and I want to schedule a end of the quarter wellness session for Mark. Oh, fuck you. And I imagine they're both very satisfied with you. Okay. Oh shit! That was the art piece that that, that both Bert and uh, Irving said that they didn't like a couple episodes back. You have brought glory to this company and to me, Keir Egan. I love you. Ugh. That's quota. We did it. So it's on now. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Whatever was said, I promise is not that funny. Have you decided who you want to stay for the waffle party? I was thinking Dylan. Thank you. I... Lumen needed this. God, she's terrifying. Mark? Miss Casey. Gemma Casey. 
It didn't really occur to me that I don't think they ever said her first name. They call everybody by their first name and their initial, except for her. They call her Ms. Casey. Well, and then Mr. Graner, and then Mr. Milchick, and Mrs. Cope. Never mind. Evidently, Lumen's been blessed with a new wellness director, so I'll be retiring at the conclusion of this session in the What is wait. Your Audi makes time for people, even when- Hey, let me talk to somebody. Aw, he's trying to protect his wife. That's not really his wife, but is his wife that's dead. For me, my favorite time was the eight hours I spent in your department watching Helly. Oh, that's cute. It's the longest I've ever been awake. Why do you care what happens to me? Because we're people, not parts of people. No one gets to just turn you off. God, she's so weird. It's like... It looks like she's getting off on this shit. Take her back down to the testing floor, please. The testing floor? What do they do with her? I'm confused. Is she even a real person? This isn't the break room, is it? Do you know if I'm happy up there? Of course. You do all sorts of wonderful things. You're dead up! Oh my god, what is this? The world may never know. A very special gift for a very special Dylan. Mm. Show them what you requested. Yeah, show us, man. Oh, what is it? Mm. What? What is it? Good. I don't know. smiling at each other god damn it just fuck Helly R attempted suicide three weeks ago facts we also know that you've been spending time at the home of mark scott's sister that she has get her in trouble that you be suspended from your position effective immediately damn right okay we're fired damn it's the board even there yes yes first time we've heard the board's voice the board has concluded the call I'm going to conclude your life. Hmm? <laughs> Smelly. <laughs> I'm loving his growing hatred of Lumen. I just hope it turns out I have things I care about. Like, for real. Shit. You pretended to care about me pretty well. You're easy to pretend to care about. As are you. Mm-hmm. Come on. Let's break that platonic barrier. I need to see about a management issue and this party is over. I'll leave the food. Oh, he's pissed. On you go then. Damn right. Later. See ya. Look, it's likely we'll all wake up around. People could be driving. The important thing is you find someone it seems you can trust and you tell them everything. Damn right. We can't get distracted thinking into our lives. The mission was the priority. Absolutely. Not everyone's gonna follow that though, if anybody. Probably should have told you guys, but uh, I, I kept this. Our job is to taste free air. Your so-called boss may own the clock that taunts you from the wall, but, but my, my friends, the hour is yours. <laughs> Page 197 slaps. <laughs> God, I love this show. Fucking love it. Let's find out what's for dinner. Do You think we're about to meet our spouses? Maybe it's each other. That'd be a hoot. <laughs> Would you like that? You guys aren't staggering. You guys aren't staggering. You're breaking protocol here. Show some respect for Lumen. Oh, let's go, man. Oh, let's go. In case we don't come back. <laughs> awesome. Okay. God, I'm nervous as hell. It's like a huge moment here. It's a huge moment of truth. Going up that elevator. Are you ready, Dylan G? A Dylan G? A Dylan G. Oh, I really hope Dylan can do this, man. God, no pressure, man. No pressure. Hmm, look at that. 
Not much of a party, I mean, it's, sure, it's waffles, but not much of a party. Fuck her goddamn soul! <sighs> well, Jesus. Yeah, the poor lady that has a shrine for Egan. Yeah, it sucks that she doesn't work there anymore. What are you staring at, buddy, huh? Go to the founder's bed? That's off limits. Ew. <laughs> what the hell is this? What is happening? What the hell? This just got so disturbingly arousing. I imagine it's gonna be like the painting where he whips, whips them all. Weird, man. I thought it was a waffle party. Oh, yeah, he wasn't having it, man. I feel you. God, that was so damn weird. Who the hell would want to reenact that painting? You get to be Keir Egan for a day. Ooh, fun. Rather for five minutes. Hi, Mrs. Selvig. Sorry to just pop over. Yes, what is it? Oh, no. Devin asked me to double check, see if you're interested in coming. I don't want him to be with Mrs. Selvig. Yeah, please, leave her, leave her. You know, maybe I could drive my own car. I don't want him to be with Mrs. Cobell, Mrs. Selvig, you know, while uh, any wakes up. Because as of now, if they wake up, clearly Irving only has his dog to talk to. Uh, Mark will only be around Mrs. Selvig. We don't know what's going on with Helly and her home life. Okay, no, it looks like Mark's good. Mark is Mark is with his sister and brother-in-law, but Mrs. Selvig is gonna be there, man. I know. It's a whole mass ass party, actually. Shit. This is nice. Yeah. Good wife and mother and god when is the pin gonna drop we should uh talk later yeah yeah i've been pondering a decently sized life change watch for leaky's mark <laughs> oh, get out of here god, his any is gonna have no idea who to choose to relay all of his information to and it's gonna end up being mrs selvig oh wait that's the hallway that uh miss casey went down wasn't it that looks like the elevator at the end of the dark ass hallway oh he got his own little twisty thing what is his experience with this hallway? Well, anyway, I should probably- oh, I don't need to be nosy, but no, no. I heard you say to Devin something about a life change. Oh, you are being nosy. Shut up. I was gonna tell her that I'm thinking I might quit. I'm so fucking nervous, man. This severance thing, I'm not sure I need it anymore. I mean, it's awfully cute, but oh my god. Hey. How do you hold up both at once? Get away from them, Mark. You can't do it if- Don't end there. Don't you dare. Oh, it fucking ended. Oh, come on, man. All right, that was the penultimate episode of the season. Goddamn, that was some great tension there. It looks like Helly is at some type of party, so she might actually, I'm assuming it's gonna be the Lumen party because they, they were talking about the Lumen party with the board and everything, but we aren't actually seeing it, which I think is interesting. So I think we will have to see it. And I think it might be through Helly's perspective. So I think that's where Helly's at right now. Mark is with Mrs. Selvig, who Mrs. Selvig looks like she's turning sides and might be anti-Lumen. So maybe it won't be such a bad thing that he confesses to her, but at the same time, it's falling on deaf ears because she already knows everything. So not getting anything from it and then Irving there is not around anybody to first, so he's got no one to talk to but his Audi is obsessed with this hallway that Mrs. Casey went down so there's just so much shit going on and I need some answers finale time baby oh maybe you should talk to your sister it's an important decision my sister yes oh, he recognizes her immediately he has to and stop by the bathroom I think it's the other way Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, look at all these creepy drawings of this elevator. Jesus, this whole room. Hmm? How many of those have you had? Oh, no, yep. This. Helly's at the gala. I was on with the board earlier. They're really grateful for this. Gab Natalie, hello. Hi. Gabby, wait, okay. This is Helena Egan. Egan! Egan! Gosh. Holy shit, we're starting off with a massive reveal! Fucking Christ, before the cult- Jesus! Fucking 
Egan? Oh my god, this shit is incur- Oh my god. Massive reveal right out the gate. Jesus. <laughs> Helena Egan. So why is she going through the whole severance procedure? Is she trying to be maybe a type of um example or something? I don't know. That makes it a much bigger deal. That's why now I understand why what's her face? Miss Cobell. She got fired for trying to cover up Heli suicide attempts. Like that's a big deal. The, I'm guessing, CEO of the entire company nearly just ended her own life inside this uh, severance shit, so this is incredible, man. Come on, you need to act in a hurry, man. Hurry up and tell some people. You know your sister's at this event. Where's my sister, if I may ask? Mark, you okay, milady? There she is. Come on. It smells weird. Yeah, and she was making chewing noises, but she was not chewing. Come on. Just be prepared, because you might have to share. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Hey. <laughs> How's our baby? <laughs> he, thought, he thought that was his baby, that's funny. Where are you going? You know that's the person you need to talk to! Oh, Hey! How's it going, little dude? They need an office pupper. Radar. Radar. Why is there something familiar about that word? Your Audi likes the sound of radar. This is gonna sound weird. <laughs> I am not We're your mark. We're close, you and I. What are you, what's Say going it. on? I am not your mark. Can Here's the deal. Okay, my dearest ones, uh, we are nearing that hour. So Frickin' fuck off! Peacefully waft into okay. the We're not wafting anywhere. Wow, three kids. Couldn't have done it without a little help. <laughs> Ew, what? I mean, so she did get the severance procedure then, I'm guessing? To get her through the pregnancy? And please, thank your father if you see him. Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. It's gonna be Christopher Walken. It's gotta be. What is Christopher Walken? God, we don't have time for this. No, Rebecca. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, he's starstruck. Oh, look at him. He's starstruck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rickon's like the president of the United States to him, man. Like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Can I look at her? Or two two? No. Who are you? Kelly, a severed story. God, this is insane. Is it the whole gala just surrounded by her? Surrounded around her? For her? And I think Irving is getting kind of swallowed up in the whole personal side of things. I'm afraid he's gonna find like a severed head or something. It's Navy uniform, nice. Oh, his dad. Don't let his dad be Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken is somebody, okay? Give me a couple minutes and meet me in the baby room. Oh okay. my God, dude, please. Just rip the bandaid off. I mean, the book is brilliant. Okay, Mark, thank you. You don't have to say that. I'm well aware of how I come across to you. Hey. You know, your book, it, it opened up the world for me. Aw. This book changed my whole life. <laughs> you had to deal with Jenna's passing in the way that was best for you. I was scrolling through old pictures this morning and I found one of the four of us on the crest hike. Oh no. Do you have that on you, the picture? Uh, sure. Oh no, oh no, the picture! Uh, Rickon, the neti pot is Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god, I'm getting tired of these people cucking all these conversations. God damn it! When you hugged me before, you suddenly became tense. What was that? Oh, Fuck off! Did not... you mean what you said before about your plans? Of course. Tell me more. No! Fuck off! Oh, be right back. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thanks, Miss Cobell. Oh, damn! Oh, shit! Oh, that was... <laughs> wow, man. God, the tension in this is incredible. I feel so tense. I mean, why would he... Why would he assume that she has a different name? Oh, that's crazy, man. This makes it make a lot more sense with why Milchik is always taking so many damn pictures. Oh, thank God, Mrs. Selvig. Hi, can you take her for no, a quick no, second while I talk to Mark? No, no, of course. No, 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 no. God damn it, dude. God damn it, dude. I'm all yours. This tension, I can't do it, man. Just please. United in severance. Did she take the baby? Bert. Oh, you're gonna, you're doing personal shit. You're doing personal shit. You're doing personal shit. His name is Bert Goodman. Good man. So he's gotta be good. He's at least not an Egan, sounds like. Oh, he's already got it on the map. 
Holy shit, dude. She's in here, sir. Sir? Bert, 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 Bert. Hello, no. Who the hell are you? Thank you. Who the fuck are you? I cried in my bed when they told me what she tried to do to you. What that any tried to do. I... Oh, God. Do you remember when I brought home the first chip to show you? It had the blue and green lights back then. I remember you said to me, it's so pretty, Daddy. Everybody in the whole world should get one. <laughs> <laughs> they will. No. That man is gross, but he's also familiar. I don't know why. I don't know if he's familiar from this show or just familiar in general. Dude, Dylan is doing his thing, man. He's holding this open for a long damn time. Oh my god, imagine that Dylan lets go of the switch while he's at the driver's seat. That can't be a good thing to happen. You swear you're not fucking with me. I swear. Mark has, I mean, out here, you have been trying to figure out what Lumen does, what you do. Okay. I'm glad he got it out there. He lost his wife. You lost your wife a little before you started at Lumen. It was a car accident. You try to go back to teaching three weeks after she died. It was a disaster. She was just still in your veins. Which is why I guess you thought a severed job would... He hoped you'd be spared from the pain. It's a nice name, Gemma. We were all really close. It was great. Aww. She was wonderful. She made you wonderful. This is amazing, man. Also, it just occurred to me that him finding Bert isn't just a um, a personal thing, but he's finding somebody he can trust at the same time, so. Mark S is a fucking idiot. What? That's not possible. <laughs> you snitch, bitch. You're a snitch. I'll take care of Helly. I'll fix him like I fix everything. Oh, you snitch, bitch. God damn it, I thought she was ready to flip. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Great, because once your bosses find out, Jesus, I totally forgot. Cobell. Why is Cobell here? What? what are you talking about? I mean, she's dressed different, kind of a flowy <laughs> purple outfit, silver hair. Yeah. Mark, are you talking about Mrs. Silver? You just gave your baby Maybe, to her. But... And she works at Lumen? Yeah, she's my boss. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God, dude. Holy hell, this episode's like, the tension is incredible. This is some edge of your seat shit this entire episode. Mrs. Selvig, she has Eleanor. She took the baby with her. Oh my God. She left? I handed her the baby. With Eleanor? She left. <laughs> it's all leading up to Bert, man. What is, what's up with Bert? Just say the word and I'll get you a coffee cozy literally right now, Dylan. <laughs> I want to remember my fucking kid being born. Jesus Christ, dude. The baby's in the car and you're just letting it drift away! Just stick to the talking points. Use the line about how you see Billy. Annie as your sister. They'll love that. She's not gonna do it. She's gonna sabotage. Sabotage! If she can get there in time. God damn it, dude. Hey. Well, Bert's alive. He's good. He's kicking. He's already spoken for. Poor Irving, man. Have all these rooms been checked? Oh, she left the baby. She God. left the baby. Okay. Devin, I got her. Damn, Eleanor, you took your damn time to cry. I'm the one who found her. This guy. Villain. Gemma, 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 Gemma. Puts the human being. No! Is it you? How did you even get in here, bitch? They don't have security. I'm gonna kill your company. Your friends are gonna suffer. Mark will suffer. You'll be long gone, but we will keep them alive in pain. Jeez, that's a threat. That's a crazy threat, too. Hand. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor, Helena Egan. He sees her. God, this is so good. That's her. Tell somebody. Tell somebody. David. He's not going to be able to. He's not going to be able to. They're out of time. And everything they told you about severance is a lie. Yes. We're not happy. We're miserable. <laughs> She's not gonna be able to! She's alive! Oh, he got it out, he got it out, he got it out, he got it out! No.
No! No! Are you kidding me? It's over! Fuck! What a finale. Holy shit. Truly, this is easily like one of the best first seasons of a show I've watched in a very, very long time. This was like peak. Peak fiction. Peak everything. I loved every single thing about this damn show. It was so damn amazing and holy hell this finale really like oh my god edge of my seat the entire damn time and how can they end it right there he at least mark was able to get the she's alive part out we saw irving slamming on bert's door but we don't know what's to make of that what that's going to lead to what the point of that is it doesn't seem like christopher walken is evil after all he seems to be pretty innocent and he's, he's alive and looks like he's got nothing to do with the egan family but sadly enough for irving he's already taken and i loved the reveal that heli was an Egan and she was able to use that platform to talk shit about Severance which was massive. I don't know what to say man like th this was incredible. Everything about this show is incredible. Ben Stiller you did your fucking thing as a director. I'm pretty sure he directed every single episode of the show. He did his goddamn thing. The music, I don't know who, who scored the soundtrack for this but goddamn they did their thing and then the acting oh my god everything about this was just brilliant now luckily for me i'm pretty sure this aired like early i want to say last year i don't remember exactly when the hype of it started but it has been quite a minute since it came out so i might not have too long to wait for season two holy shit man but it it needs to come quick god damn it man this was so damn good